painted up and the floor is getting painted so with all the details the logos the branding unbelievable absolutely unbelievable you got Charlie Burt doing a one-to-one -one education downstairs in the newly made academy space tomorrow we open with Owen Murphy and Sander working tomorrow on a busy day and uh, really exciting, this is groundbreaking stuff for us to be honest. Two years, four shops, a whole new team. And uh, Mr. Najib has done very, very well with the beautiful details of this shop. Najib. Amazing, amazing. I just love this whole like, big window there, big window there. It's the light streaming from each side. It just feels like a house. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's what it feels like. It feels like this is the living room. You know, downstairs the, the chill zone. Over there you have like this kitchen type of area. It just feels homely, you know what I mean? Yeah. How was your day? What did you do? Today, yeah. Incredible. Yeah. I have learned some something new in Charlie and then got my skin and uh, I'm asking. It's been good, yeah? Yes. Nice. Yes. Nice jumper as well. <laughs> Very nice. See you tomorrow. See you. Take well, care. Man. Are you tired from all this yeah. extreme expansion? Four yeah. shops, two years. Yeah. It's quite crazy. Yeah. Everyone's saying, how's he doing it? Yeah. I say, I don't know. <laughs> That's why. Yeah. And now I'm like, it's yeah. unbelievable. But now it's, yeah. yeah now it's it's testing, yeah? yeah? I can imagine it being yeah. testing. Yeah. yeah. Testing. Are you excited to see it finished and it coming together? It's finished. Yeah. Uh, for me now, it's like, okay, it's finished. Now we have to start. Building. Yeah. Charlie, tell me what it's like in Amsterdam, living in Amsterdam. Like I can't answer that in one question. <laughs> You've got time. Okay. But there's uh, many, many positive things. First of all, I'm, I'm working with an unbelievable team, very right. talented team, uh, with a great boss who I'm cutting his hair right now. But uh, on top of that, just the way of life, honestly. Uh, everyone's just happy to, to go about their working life and to also go about their personal life, but not separate. And uh, that coincides with clients and that coincides with the boys that we work with. We finish work and we don't go home separately. We finish work and we go and do things together. Um, also, the hair is really nice. Everyone has long hair here. Something that in England we lack a lot of, so it's nice to see lots of different styles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You wanted that one straight away, that's what you said, John. So the reality of Owen Murphy leaving our shop in St Albans hasn't really sunk in yet as I haven't done that many days in the salon to kind of really notice him leaving but really and truly it is the, it's the biggest loss that shop's ever had um, it, he's been like such a massive massive part of that, that shop for the last four years um, and uh, owe a lot of credit to him. He, jo he joined the team at a time when it was essential for someone to sort of take some leadership, with high standards, etc. And Owen really did that. So for four years, he really led that, that salon to a very, very high standard. So 
him leaving that salon is, is concerning because for me, he's one of the people that allows me to sleep easily at night because I know he's there being reliable, ensuring that our standards are met. So it's a loss to us personally in St Albans. It's a massive, massive gain to Men's Sport Amsterdam and the family over here. It's just what we need over here in order to build, to get to the next level. We're doing, we're doing fantastic over here. It's, it's amazing, but it is really just the start. Although we have four salons, we have a lot of work to do to sort of build these salons up, build our staff up build up our education presence over here as well. So Owen coming over here, kind of like, it completes, it completes what we need over here. And it obviously it takes us away a little bit weaker in St Albans, but we have so many new staff coming through the UK. So it's all gonna balance out. It's all gonna be perfect. So I'm very excited, but definitely gonna miss Owen Murphy. I, I, that's something that I will say. But ultimately he's only a 45 minute flight away and I'll probably spend not the same amount of time with him, but equally a lot of time on, on his new venture, his new operation of building Men's by Amsterdam. So, exciting times ahead. Monday, the 19th of September. The day is finally here. But first, we must consume some nice food. So let's eat and then we'll get to the shop. What's the process been? What's the process been like? It's been um, it's been good. It's been fast paced. It's been a lot of uh, it's been a lot of trips over to Amsterdam since we opened up two years ago. I must have been here about twenty times plus. Um, so building and forming a good solid relationship with Nas and uh, the boys, Sander leading up the team. It's been crucial over the last couple of years. Um, but because the, the city didn't necessarily have like a, a kind of a clean modern brand like what we're offering, um, it got lapped up very well and um, the consumers, yeah, the people really, really seemed to enjoy it. So when we saw um, how well the first shop was responded to, we then quickly did our, our second shop. And uh, like I've mentioned, we're now about to open our fourth shop.
think this is the best men's bar in Amsterdam, but I'm yeah. a bit biased. But buzzing to get the salon busy, get people in here, and just excited actually for the opening day. Josh is here, everyone's over from St Albans, so I'm a little bit at home even though I'm in Amsterdam. Running parallel to the hairline, now we want to use this as our guide. So therefore, bro, when I take my first profile section, my first profile guide, you will see the hairs that we have already cut, and I want to cut the longest, shortest length. Do you remember we did this yesterday? The longest, shortest length. Keep the head in an upright position. Lift. See the longest, shortest hair. That's here. Wait until it's just in our fingers. And cut. Okay, Men's Bar Oud West. This is the first of the Empire. Um, it's been running as a men's bar for two years now. And one year prior to that, it was actually running as, a, as another barber shop before we ended up taking it over. So it's been here for about three years. It's our busiest salon in Amsterdam. Um, an incredible neighborhood, Oud West is, is full of character, um, full of realness, rawness. Very, very beautiful neighborhood, nice place to be. And um, we, have, uh, we have four busy barbers here with the room to grow for another four upstairs. So the plan is 2023 is to grow this shop really focus on growing the upstairs part of the shop so yeah the plan is to have eight busy barbers hey <laughs> that's it perfect timing this morning i was very proud and very excited about the three of them standing up there just yeah. think about how far we've come with our first meeting out here yeah. we were sitting downstairs with the team three of these guys leading the, uh, leading the meeting yeah. owen murphy with yeah. a bag of value Charlie with a huge amount of value and Sandra also and the three of them just standing there in front of the team saying our plan of action for the next couple of months. This is great progression bro, We're taking your pressure off. Owen knows why he's here, he knows the situation, he knows he's not here just to cut hair, he's here to lead the team to the standards that we've set. And you've heard everything that he was saying like let's really try and focus on growth now, just focus on growing, let's not worry about how going we're going out, just growing these boys, busy, 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 marketing, networking, active, that's the only thing we need to worry about. Yeah. We're, going, we're coming up to the busiest time of the year, November, December is going to be huge. Yeah. We've got the guys to leave it, you just need to ensure Owen, Sandra, Charlie are happy, yeah. and everything's going to take care of itself. Salon number two. Potentially the second best looking salon in the company. Yeah. Potentially, it's a very, very nice salon, isn't it? And South? I forget about South, yeah. I need to process South, to be honest. I need to see it with like clients and stuff. Yeah. It's true, where does South fit, fit into? Like, It's quite difficult to kind of uh, rank the Amsterdam ones. They're all kind of quite unique and all quite individual. Yeah. Because like, the centre, let's face it, the centre, the location yeah. and the quirkiness of it is incredible. There's something about Oud West for me, I like Oud West. It's classy, it's quirky. Yeah. Men's Bar, the pipe, the pipe, this neighbourhood is amazing. Come and take a look just directly outside. Incredible salon, incredible location. Some beautiful sort of fish restaurants either side, which are always heaving, especially in the summertime out here is very, very social, loads of tables and chairs. And it really, really, the place comes alive. Yeah, this is our, our second salon. We opened um, last year on the, uh, the 29th of June. And a um, very special salon. Aesthetically, it's absolutely beautiful, very minimal, very clean. Very, very men's bar, to be fair.
understand actually how vulnerable business is, man. Like we were going like that, and then obviously things come in slow down. Summer months always have a little bit. Like we've been slow in, in Dublin, we were a bit slow in the UK, we were a little bit slow in so we've been slow. So it's part of it. But basically, now between us, just uh, really focus on, on growing this all now because I want it to be a huge success. So let's make it happen. Hello. You are the owner, eh? One of the owners, yeah. How are you? I met you last time very briefly. These people go past because I'm a bit shy in front of the camera shy. Men's Squire Amsterdam number three. Uh, we are bang in the centre of Amsterdam here. We have Soho House and the W Hotel just to the left of me. Um, very, very iconic, famous area. We have Dam Square again just five minutes down the road. Um, incredible location. It's our newest shop other than the, the south. So a lot of a lot of work to do still. Still very, very new here, still building up the columns. But very, very exciting and what an amazing place to sort of be based. See you soon, I hope. See you. Sam, how did it make you feel earlier seeing uh, Owen and Charlie downstairs giving the team talk with a meeting? Do you know what? It was, uh, it, was, uh, it was quite a deep moment, to be fair. I was very, very proud of both of them. Um, obviously, spent a lot of time with both of them, especially Owen, for the last sort of, four and a half years, really building him into the man he is now. And to see him leading a team uh, meeting in Amsterdam in our fourth shop, it was a little bit surreal, to be honest. Um, and I made sure I got a little, little video of it because I remember just thinking, wow, this is crazy how two years ago this was just an idea. And um, you fast forward two years, we now have you know extremely strong team of barbers over here led by extremely strong educators, both Charlie Burt and, and Owen Murphy uh, alongside Sander. Um, it's just, it's exciting. We have everything in place now to do big things here in Amsterdam. So. Seeing that this morning was it was a it was a very proud moment and I'm really really excited for the for the process and the journey with the guys.